There you go. Look at that. Whoa, what are you guys doing over here? That's a baby monocle cobra. Hey guys, what's happening? Welcome to SA's Wildlife Wednesday. My name's Robbie, and I'd love to share my passion with you. We got something really cool today. Did you guys know the most common cobra throughout Southeast Asia is the monocle cobra? That means they have a zero on the back of their hood, an O, but not all of them have that O. Some of them are born in their weird designs on the back of the hood, but they're still a monocle cobra. A juvenile one. These guys are crazy too. This right here is a juvenile cobra. Hi, buddy. You gonna cooperate today? There's that hood. Can you see it? Now, if you look at the back of the hood here, he's got those four dots and he's got something see that white spot right there that would usually be the monocle right in there but he's got a neat colored hood what are you doing buddy look at that hood <laughs> there you go look at that is that cool or what? They do that hood as a defensive posture. That way they're making their heads look bigger and more intimidating. Now when they're in a feeding response, they don't even bother to open up that hood when they're hunting and going for food. They'll just come along, they look like a regular snake almost. Look, with his hood closed, you can't even tell, most people can't tell it's a cobra. Can you see that there? Because he's relaxed right now. He's not all aggravated. And when they hunt, they don't open that hood because they don't want to make themselves be seen. They want to sneak up on their prey. They bite them. And it is a cobra, so they are venomous. They are neurotoxic and cytotoxin. Now, the venom also works not only to kill the prey, but it also helps in the digestion process of the prey. It starts to break down all the uh, proteins and everything in the animal so that they can digest it quicker. So it helps in multiple ways, hunting and in digestion process. Oh, such a neat snake. Whoa, really? You see that? Hey! Really? Does everything have to pee? Ugh. And they also still, like all other snakes, use pee and urate, use urates and poop as a musk. When they're feeling they're trapped, they will do that to let off a really stinky smell. And yeah, it does stink. These guys are awesome. Thank you once again for joining us here at SA Company's Wildlife Wednesday. Hey, look at that. Look at him hold his mouth open. He's ready for business. You guys take care, get swamped, and share your passion. And if you want to see other cool videos, make sure you check out our YouTube channel at Get Swamped. See ya.